Did you know a Fortune 500 CEO was secretly running money for organized crime while manipulating classified government contracts? Joseph Nakio seemed like the perfect executive, CEO of Quest Communications, with access to the most sensitive NSA surveillance programs in America. But behind closed doors, he was playing a far more dangerous game. Throughout the early 2000s, Nakio used his top-secret clearance to gather insider information about federal contracts. He sold this classified intelligence while Quest's stock price rocketed from $4 to $64 per share. The twisted part? He was simultaneously laundering money for Denver's notorious Smaldone crime family. FBI wiretaps eventually caught him discussing government surveillance capabilities in one breath, then arranging money transfers to known criminals in the next. The web involved corrupt NSA officials, crime bosses, and Wall Street analysts all working together. When the House of Cards collapsed, Nakio was convicted on 19 counts of insider trading. He had stolen $44 million in illegal profits. The case exposed how easily classified contracts could be manipulated by corporate corruption, a telecommunications empire built on betrayal.